What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. That's right. Today, I got a lot of fun things planned for you. Yeah! Um, we got last episode this beautiful, beautiful sugarcane farm uh, all set up, fully automatic, and uh, it was all in anticipation of this episode where we are going to set up for ourselves our own little villager trading system, outpost, whatever you want to call it. But I want to do it at the base. This is a project that I had started to, well, actually, I did work on and I did do in the past. But things have changed a little bit, a little bit. And uh, I just need to do the upgrades. But I want to have it over here because now you're able to get tons of cool um enchantments is the main thing we're looking for the librarian so we're gonna look into doing that today we have loads of sugar cane now and by the way the farm um just a couple updates on it um the timer the hopper clock timer wasn't quite long enough um at least i think it's better if it waits until yep right there until there's a bunch of them at least on like the third stage well it ends up if you do uh, a hopper clock and then you just extend another one with a comparator you can get tons more time added on each additional uh item in the second clock i believe it's like four minutes extra um extended time so yeah uh extended that also i forgot to do the uh we didn't fully finish the collection system it's pretty self-explanatory just hoppers go down to your base wherever you want to have it but anyway this thing has been amazing um, couple of other projects I've been working on. This right here, yes, this is cheated in. We don't get to keep anything from this. It's only here because I wanted to get the uh, timing right for when we do this. And it's super annoying. This guy is super annoying, but I want to get a fully uh, automated amethyst farm. That's coming up in the future. In any case, um, we are going to make a villager outpost. And to do that, there's a couple different things. We need to probably make a new villager uh, breeder that we can have over here to refill it. And then we had this is actually a project that we had worked on in the past. And I believe it's updated. Like, we need to update it. But I believe at our uh, villager farm way over yonder... Let's see. Can I throw a pearl this far to get to that? Let's see. Let's see. Ha! Beautiful. Let's hop on in. I think we can use the same, uh, like, little system that we had from the past. Let's see. Basement. Oh, crap. Do we got to go upstairs? I think we do. All right. Here we go. So, our old system, it should still work. And it's actually pretty easy to update. It used to be the villagers were only this type of villager. And there wasn't, like, different jobs for them. But now that there's jobs, it actually... We probably don't even need to do an updated system. But I want to have this closer by the base. So, basically, how this little thing works, these guys, they have a little pressure plate that they go and they sit on you know when they're in there and that when it's in there look at they're actually breeding a little bit um when they're in there it closes a piston over and it makes it so that no other villagers you know fall in and then if we destroy the villager it'll open back up and then a new one is able to get loaded in so this is what we need to duplicate and maybe i can snazzy it up i can get it a little bit better looking it's kind of plain looking it's not horrible all right so we just have the pressure plate going into redstone going okay cool got it got it let me start to work on this and uh at least that little uh the outpost area and i'll meet you back all right, we're back, and it is some time later. I, I went a little overboard. I got a little, a lot done. Yeah, but it's okay. We still have tons of stuff to do. Anyway, I just want to show you um, other projects I added in before we just had these chests and, like, no sorting system, just hoppers going in. Now we have all of our veggies 
from this farm that we had done, villager farm. Yeah, they all sort out to the correct chest and go all the way up. So super sick. And we just, I just used the, um, the hopper sorting system, which can go, it's kind of hard to see, but it's the same exact one we did with the golem farm. So you can just take a look at that in a previous video if you want to see it. Um, but I did more. I did more. Let's see here. Um, I in the slime farm. I keep on doing little tinkers of things because it drives me nuts. Um, I fixed the lava blades so they're both at the same level. We can see the slime coming in now. You know, we didn't get to see this the other day. Come on, Mr. Slime. Come over here. But anyway, I had two different levels. I ended up moving it to the higher level for both of them. He'll he'll make it here eventually. And we'll get to see him. But uh, the update that I did mainly is in the slime farm. Again, also using the same way that we did with the um, to compact the uh, metal. I have it compacting the slimes into slime blocks just for storage reasons. And it is literally the same exact thing as what we did in the golem farm because for the uh, crafter, it's the same recipe, nine slime balls. So pretty cool. That's done. Um, stairs are over this way. You'll probably see that slime go up the stairs in the background. Yes, look at this. It is glorious. So I tried to spruce it up a little bit, but it's the same exact system as the other one. But uh, we now have it. And this is, I have the uh, hoppers coming straight down from the uh, the farm that we did last time for the sugar cane. And this way we will have all the sugar cane right at our base. So that's what I have completely full, which is pretty good. It, it still takes a while to grow it. But um, with this system right here, it's basically, let me uh, plop into here. So we have a, um, I'm using jack-o'-lanterns. And there is a redstone torch in the back. So it's kind of, uh, I don't have any more torches. I put all my stuff away. Um, there's a redstone torch on the back of the pumpkin. And then, and it's connected to it. Then there's another redstone torch on the back of there. I really don't want to rip into this. And then that goes and that powers the piston. Um, I'll grab the resources so I can actually show it off. But look at this in a little bit. But it's a lot of tinkering, him and Han. I'm kind of that type of builder. I'm not the best on camera. I like to be able to uh, do all my tinkering off camera and then be like, this is this is what I finally like. But I think it is glorious. So here's the deal. This is what we got to do. We got to make a breeding system so that the new babies come down and fall into this guy here. And then once they are in here, they go, they can walk through here and then walk over to either side and go, uh, villagers can go up and down ladders. Um, so they'd fall down into here and this is what we have to build the system for today. And then they can choose to walk over this way. And over time they will fall into these. And then it will close up. And then once those are all full, you know, they go over to the other one. So eventually they will all be full. It may not be today, but it will eventually be. And we should hopefully be able to start getting um, some trading done. Now, there is one last step that I did not do yet. And that is we have to make the job blocks. And they can't jump out because we have fences here. All right, let's teleport out. I also made another little auto farm. It's something I've been meaning to do forever. And I'm surprised we didn't already have one. But I set up a cactus farm. I don't know if this is the most efficient method. But, you know, just another AFK farm. It gets it over time. A lot of the cactus, they end up eating themselves and getting destroyed. But the ones that don't, when they grow up, they hit that, they pop off. They fall into the hopper. They go into there. It's such a simple farm, but something we need because, you know, I like the color green. All right. So, and I also improved this little area here. I know I go overboard. I go overboard. The main reason I have so many is with these fences. 
um, when you have the lantern, it makes a little post. Otherwise, it's just straight. And I like the post look. So anyway, uh, let's get on to the more important part, which is the uh, breeding part. Let's go over this way. We still have to set up uh, full elevators. Um, did I grab enough? Okay, we should have enough to do this. Let's just go ahead and sleep. And all right, beautiful. And I think I have mine carts up top. But we need to build the little area first. So um, this line right here is where the uh, the fall down area is going to be. And we're going to have the little villager ha um, set up be right underneath the sugarcane farm. So cool. So for us to do this, we need to get a hoe first and foremost. I think I have a bunch of hoes over here. Oh, I'm such the cat person, by the way, now. Like, total and utter cat person. I know. So many cats. Like, I don't get it. They spawn over here so much. It's crazy. Absolutely nutty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Let's see. Bucket. Bucket. Let's go. All right. So probably centered right about here we want to do it over as far as we can so let's start to set this up we're gonna have beds there and they're not gonna actually sleep in the beds but they're gonna want to get to the beds so i think four beds is what we're gonna want to have all right cool and then we get an axe. And basically, we get, just got to set up a, uh, a little farm and have two villagers in said farm. And that should pretty much promote the, uh, the breeding. So it's extremely simple. I have to say, most of these villager things are crazy simple. All right, so we'll probably have it be like right here and here. All right, and this is going to be where the uh, the fall down area is. And if we break out one, yep, look at that directly below. Perfect. So we'll get to that in a moment. Let's go ahead and let's start to fence this off. All right, cool. And this is going to be where our farm, I believe, is going to start right here. So one, two, three, four. This would be the center of the farm. Let's dig this out. Let's go ahead, put our water block in. Bada boom. All right, very cool. Then we need to get a the composter down. I do this without it. Oh, I don't trust myself. There we go. So that's going to make it so that it's a farmer. And then do we have a glowstone on us? No, I'll go back and get a glowstone. Or we could just set whatever block. A glowy block would be nice. But for now, let's just do this. Get our light. Beautiful. And... That's to the edge of the farm right there. Um, do I have dirt? Dirt, dirt, dirt. All right. Beautiful. So let's get this all done up, hoed out. We're going to fence it off, and then we've got to bring some villagers. We luckily already have some that are close by. So we'll get them all moved on over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I heard in an update they might make uh, farms smaller. So it'll be interesting. I haven't really... I'm so worried about learning everything that I've missed that I almost don't know all the stuff that is currently going on, you know, or coming out soon. So I'll just have to rely on you guys to tell me. But I am having so much fun. I have to say, it is so refreshing to play Minecraft again. 
and we're done with that. All right. So right here, we need to set up a little shenanigans where the um, the baby, when it spawns in, is going to try and run and go to the beds. And we want to make it so that it falls down. So in order to do that, actually, we could have kept that wood there. But it's okay. So in order to do that, we need to throw some trap doors down. And what's going to happen is the babies is going to think that is a block that it can walk on like this. But when it, it doesn't know if it that it's opened or closed. So that should cause the baby to go down. Now, for the actual other guys, they have to also think they have access to the bed. So how are we going to do this? We need to make it so that there is a trap door that is blocking them. And I think if you have a trap door at this height, I think a villager is too tall to where they can't walk through that, but they think they can. So let me figure out how am I going to get a trap door to, uh, to hover up like that. Let's move this back one and let's just go like this and like this. All right, cool. And then we can put, I think a trap door like that. Perfect. Oh, I thought I did that sound. We want it to connect to this block. There we go. There we go. All right, perfect. And then as soon as the baby tries to run in, it'll fall down, but the villagers themselves will not be able to get through. And we'll leave two blocks just to be sure. All right, perfect. Um, This is a problem, though. This is an unforeseen problem. Um, I thought I would be able to get closer. You know what? Um, we can. I thought we'd be a lot closer. But I didn't take into consideration this clock here. So instead, let's turn these beds. This is not fun news for me. But let's go like this. Like that. To be symmetrical. I don't think that should mess with the redstone or anything. All right, and then I can move the whole farm over two blocks. Man, you know what? It's actually not that bad because I don't have to move the entire farm. I only have to redo these last two rows. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. And I already moved the water over. So if you didn't understand what was going on and why I had to move it. It's because the spot that I need them to fall, it was too, it was too far over. All right. We all good there. And all right, cool. We just need to make an entrance for us for now. All right, that should be good. And then we're going to end up using uh, rail carts to get them in. All right, cool. So I should have a bunch of glass in one of these. Hopefully it's cooked by now. All right, cool. Got loads of lava cooking, loads of sand. I go through glass so quickly. It's not even funny. All right, so new area moved over, and if I have to, I'll redo the clocks and move those too, but I think this should be good. All right. So right here, this is going to be where they fall down. All right, let's start to shear these bad boys. So we're going to probably need four. Two would probably have been good enough, but four, four is better. All right, do we have buttons pre-made? One, two, one, two. Perfect. And so let's get our little drop in. So our, our little babies don't get hurt. Do, 
dude, look at all the mushrooms. I tell you, they just multiply so quickly. All right. Um, let's ender pearl in. All right, cool. We can get rid of this. And I guess I'll still leave this here. I was expecting, I wanted to make the drop down be here, but that's like on the right at the edge of our islands. I don't know why I was thinking that would work. All right. Oh, crap. I still have more glass to do. All right. We'll do that momentarily. Um, Let's go and put our fall blocks here. We will go... Button there. Button there. You know, this... It might... I feel like that might be too much. They might, because they're not going to have that much momentum. There's a possibility they would actually climb it. So let's, we'll see what happens. Let's try it with just two vines for now. So vine there and a button here. I'm using vines over a water drop just because, um, and I guess we can always test it ourselves to see if we take damage. Um, I don't want, in case we have to break things, I don't want it to be messy. The vines are just neater. All right. Bada boom. And even here, they might still climb it. We'll have to see. I, to tell you the truth, I might even just be able to have water on the ground. Because that was another option of having a water source to at least push them to here. All right, let's get out of here. Let's eat, too. All right, can we ender pearl up? Can I, am, I, am I that good? Ha! Awesome! All right, so do we take damage? Let's see what happens to us. No, perfect. I don't think they can jump that high. Oh, it's actually the water from that farm. I was like, where is the water that I'm I'm running into? That's so funny. All right. Next up. Let's get some villagers in there. We just need two. And come on. Got them. All right. One down. All right. And then we got to move them. Oh, we don't want him to fall down. All right. Um, this is where we got to change directions. So he fell right there. Um, we're going to turn it right here. All right. Perfect. And let's make this go all the way. Is it straight? Yep. Now, I may end up making some modifications because I thought about it some more. Um, I could actually get the farm moved over more by sinking it, like having a floating farm be down below. We definitely have the space for it. So I'm not going to do that today just because I don't want to have to rip out this farm yet again. But um, I think that's what I'll do to get it pushed back far enough. All right, that should be all the track we need. Go backtrack. All right, let's go, buddy. All right, he's moved far enough. Let's get our other villager. Oh, you guys are so lucky. You, you thought you were going to be go to your demise in the Gullum farm and never be seen again. But you're actually going to get the best job of all. To be our villager breeders. All right. Let's go, guys. All right. Get into the farm. All right. One done. Two. All right. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Break that. And I think I have a fence on me. Not that we need it, but I'll just do it. I don't think they can open fences. 
All right, guys, you ready? So first one we're going to break, he should assign himself. Let's just wait till he assigns himself. And if he takes a while, he will always eventually assign himself. But if he takes, you know what? Let's just do them both. Only one of them are going to get a job, but I don't want to hit them by mistake. There we go. There we go. But yeah, if they're taking a while to assign themselves, you can just pick up the, uh, the block and set it back down. All right. So I believe... What's going to happen is, oh, crap, the most uh, important part. And you know what? Do we need to? I think they know they have beds already. I think they already know. Let's just let them see the bed so they know. All right, you know you have the bed. Come on back. Let's put down this now. And he shouldn't be able to get back there again. Yeah, see? That's what you get for having such a big head, bro. All right. So that is done. And we can walk through still. And let's just open these. And now, whenever there's a baby, the first thing that's going to happen is they are going to want to run to the beds. But little do they know, when they try to run to the bed they're actually going to uh, fall down our little hole. And I think it's when they trade with each other or gossip with each other that makes them have the baby. And then I think with the number of beds, they know that they can expand. I believe that's how it works. But this is it. This is all you need for uh, getting villager breeding. Now, it's probably a good idea that we cover this up. So what I'm going to end up doing, and I'll do this uh, in between episodes, but I'm going to sink this in just like we did with the other farm. And that way I can push it over all the way. But it shouldn't change much. And I can still use these same two villagers. Come on, are you going to give us a baby? Let us have a baby. All right, so it's probably going to take them a moment. But they'll do it eventually. Yes, that's what it is. So they have to trade once. I threw my carrots on the ground just to speed things up. We should get a baby that pops out. Come on, come on. Baby. Ooh. I heard a baby. I thought I heard a baby. Yeah, we got a baby. I am so happy this is working. And then once the baby falls down, it'll be a far enough range that they'll go again. I don't see the baby anymore. Did it already fall down and we missed it? But anyway, that looks like it's working. Let's go see if our little baby because i don't hear him anymore did our little baby fall in oh crap he got out all right this is one thing i didn't take into consideration a baby is smaller so he was able to just jump up and over oh crap all right well this is why the testing is important, so that we know. All right, how can I do this? Can I do that? That should probably be enough. All right, I gave it some time and uh, some really great news. Um, the system's working now with the trap doors. Um, but while I was waiting, I decided, why not, to uh, let's get this farm move down so we can actually see it in the episode today and it actually should be pretty easy to move down um i'm getting now this system removed let's get dirt down um where's water gonna be one two three four so water will be right here 
which is fine. All right, cool. Let's get the rest of this removed. And I think they should just fall down themselves, like, pretty uh, easily. So I'll get all that fixed later. Crap, which one was the water source right there? Because they are right above us. But what I was able to do by doing this is get the farm moved over to it. This is how I initially planned it, to be in that first block. Um, so I've got the vines already in and set. So that should be fine. Um, all we got to do is move the beds and I think they should fall down. Is it nighttime right now? Because that would be ideal if it was. Okay, it's about to be nighttime. So if I remove this... Sorry, guys. All right, cool. Take the beds. Let's plop down here. Put the beds back. I'm one block shorter here, so I hope that's okay. And they can't get through. Right? You guys can't reach the bed there? All right, hopefully they won't be able to. Oh, crap. Am I going to be stuck here? Come on, dude. All right, we got to go around. So anyway, there's the fall. And I can I can actually remove all this now. Awesome. And I was able to use up more of our leftover stained glass for the project as well, which is kind of cool. All right, we good. Do I still have my shears? I do. Awesome. Nothing wasted. Oh, crap. There's some glass up there. Got it. All right, let's just go ahead and remove all this. And this bottom layer of glass isn't a necessity, but I just think it looks way better. All right, cool. We should hopefully have more than enough. All right, perfect. All right, so that's all in. The beds are back. We got to put the farm back in again. Um, so until they grow up, and look at it, it's working so well. Um, I'm a little worried about two of them ending up in the same one. Um, this is a problem we might run into when they're small. Now, once they're all filled, this isn't going to be an issue because they're going to grow up before, you know, uh, before new ones would come in. They'll, ha they'll have plenty of time to grow. But while they're little guys, they actually can fit there. Now, that's a slot where we're going to end up putting what their job is. So that might prevent them from being able to jump back. But they're, they're jumpy guys. Holy crap. They love to jump. All right, so let's see if I can try this. Uh, lectern. Should have enough to make a bunch of lecterns. I don't know if we need that many. Let's make 10 for now. So each one of these is five slots. And we can always change what the jobs are. How am I going to be able to do this? There's a guy in there, right? No? But yeah, plenty. Oh, look at he's grown up. All right, perfect. So once he's grown up, he won't be silly. And then we can. Oh, hey. Oh, no. We should be able to see how the lectern goes. I meant to do that first. Let's go ahead. And get this done on all the others. All right, cool. So that is fully finished. We can cover this back up. And they are back in business. And hey, guys. There you go. Enjoy. And he should trade sooner. 
All right, cool. Let's get the crap out of here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's watch it work. Don't, I'm not, I'm not looking. I'm closing my eyes. And I hope this is enough space. I hope I don't have to be three blocks up. It should be fine. And because it's glass, it wouldn't suffocate if they like popped up too high. All right. Apparently, unless we missed it, um, when they do the, the hearts, it's not guaranteed that we get a baby, which concerns me a little bit. I don't know if we're too close to the other babies now, which would mean we'd have to move it up higher again. So we'll we'll pay attention to that. Um, as far as the system, they seem to be falling in fine. I'm a little concerned that this guy is not converting to a job, though. In which case, the lectern might not be in a good position. Hmm. All right. Um, let's go ahead out of here. And none of them have converted. Let's find out. Does that work? Yes. All right. So it's got to be at their foot level, which is fine. But we're going to have to move all the lecterns. Oh, man, this might be problems. Um, I've yet to see another baby pop out. And yeah, ever since I did the change. Oh, well, so I either got to move the farm upwards or it's possible they just never had, a, you know, I hadn't reached the max. But we have three down here and two up there. But I only have four beds, but I did it halfway through. So I'm going to let it run longer just in case, you know, it, it, they may have babies and that's fine. But otherwise, I'll move it up one block. I'll see. I'll move it up another. I also could just move the breeder like way further and just have a longer trail go to him. But let's not let that spoil our fun for today. Let's actually get to some trading because we we have villagers that's all we need so first guy what do you got so we can trade paper for emeralds and then emeralds for bookshelves that's what you got and and it looks like by the way i'm happy i can leave these uh and i gotta go grab another actually do i have it oh and i also i built a thing. Oh, crap. I got to go get one. Um, I built this is basically all it is. So I have the lighty block and then I have a pressure plate on it. And then I have a redstone torch there. And then that inverts this one here, which so when the pressure plate goes, that turns off, that turns on and it pushes over the piston, the sticky piston. And then you can just build around it with whatever you want. But this is all it is. Super duper simple. All right, so that's what you have. Um, you, bookshelves, emeralds. All right, so it looks like we have to do this trade first. And you know what? I probably should set up an auto thing so it converts sugarcane directly into paper in an auto crafter. That'll be interesting. It's the first time of doing an auto crafter that isn't the full block. All right, so loads of paper. Yep, did you see he took out his thing to trade? All right, boom. All right, can we do more? More? All right, is it is that as much as you're going to do? Oh, I ran out of paper. All right, let's get a lot of paper then. Holy crap. Let's get as much paper as we can fit in our inventory. Yeah, auto crafting, this is definitely a project that I have to do because this is going to be annoying. Paper, paper, and is it one to one? It looks like it is. Bada boom. All right, all paper. And 
Oh, uh, look at we got new stuff. Okay. Um Now the fact that this guy doesn't have eventually he's going to say no more. But we're trying to get him to level up. I don't know if this is a bad version for this guy. So let's hold off on him. Let's see if we can get an enchanted book to show up. You're so funny. All right, so we've got that guy, and I think he... Did that level you up? Yeah, leveled you up. We might have to go to do... Uh, we might have to get rid of all of his current stuff before he unlocks new ones. All right, but this is why you want to do a bunch of them, because we're not guaranteed. And remember, we're looking for mending. All right. Did you get a level up? Was that enough? All right. Nope. Same exact shenanigans. All right. So we do have leather. I can do books. But how many books is that? That's going to get pricey. Four books for one emerald. Come on, bro. All right, let's, uh, we'll do it with this guy. All right, good. He's done with that one. All right, um, let's do. All right. That level you up. Ha! Ah, and look at, he's happy now. And we got luck of the C3. It's not uh, horrible. Well, it's not that great. Let's be real. But it's cheaper. All right, 19 bucks for a luck of the sea. All right, let's go ahead and trade with this guy. All right, is that enough to get you? No, not yet. All right, that level you up. All right, still no books yet. Um. Oh, which one? This one? Yes. All right. Respiration. All right. Not what we're looking for yet. But we're getting closer. All right. Let's go. Done with emeralds. Let's do um, emeralds for bookshelves. Oh, I'm out of emeralds. Um, Crap. That's not good. We're not actually out of emeralds. Oh, but we're out of books. All right. Um... I had told you that I came across where all of our old supply from back in the day, because remember, for a while, they had, this is 10 years ago, but they had a thing where there was not a limitation to how much you could trade. And uh, during that time, we went ham with doing paper. So, yeah, I think we're going to be pretty golden. I think that is going to be more than enough emeralds. Let me just see. But I think that's all of my bookshelves. I do have a few more books. So we're going to probably have to craft some more books. And let's see. I did go and previous to this episode went and got a whole bunch more leather. But we're going to have to go and uh, work on some of our cow farms soon. That's definitely going to have to be something. Oh, I found the other villager. Look at He found his way all the way over here, and I happened to have uh, this guy, which he liked, the blast furnace. So that turned him into that. I don't know what we're going to do with him. So we'll leave him for now. All right, beautiful. Let's make our way back. So I could set up this whole that whole uh, trading farm thing to be down on the bottom level if it's the height thing. But I'll see. If it's only a few blocks, I can move it back up a bit. All right. Um, what was I doing? You wanted emeralds. So let's go ahead. Get a whole bunch of emeralds. All right. Oh, you got your thing. Dude! Silk touch. That's what's up. All right. So what does this mean? Is it I need books and the emerald? 
to do it? I think so. All right, so let's go ahead and get some books. Boom. Boom. That's a good one. All right, so boom and silk touch. Yes. So I don't know if they end up getting to where they're like so full that they won't trade. But that is pretty cool. All right. Now, I think each guy will have two, potentially two different enchants. So we'll see. That's not a great one to start off with. Um, let's, that's done. Let's get a whole bunch of bookshelves because we're going to need that anyway. Do the same thing with you. All right, that level you up. Do we have a... Ah, look at Book and Quill. All right, so all in all, this one's probably not a great one. Luck of the C3 isn't a horrible one, but I think before we decide that we get rid of guys, I think we are going to want to get more of them trapped. So this is our system. For the most part, it's good. It's just going to be a matter of making sure that the breeding happens and that they get filled up. So once again, I'll leave these guys for a little bit longer, but I'll work on the adjustment of the farm. But for the most part, this is epic. I am quite pleased. The other thing I could do is slap down a whole bunch of beds. And because that's their limitation. They're saying there's not enough beds for me to, you know, do more babies. So let me think, actually, if I did you know, 10 more beds and left them up there, that would be enough to get them, to promote them to, uh, to want to, to not think that the village is overpopulated. So that would be another, uh, another solution without having to move stuff. But anyway, I think on that note, um, we've got a lot of new projects we got to work with. We got another project more or less done. We didn't get mending, but we'll get there. It'll be a thing. Dude, the cats, they are nonstop. What do you do when you have an uh, overspawn of cats at your base? Seriously, guys, way too much. We'll see how it ends up working out. But guys, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Minecraft awesomeness and make sure to go head on over to the Discord. And hey, I left a world download that's updated, not to this episode, but I'll do it every five episodes or so. Uh, so. But the Blaze Farm is fully finished and that is in the world download. So just check out uh, last episode. If you're looking for it, I'll leave that same download um, in the description of this video. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, peace out.